guys, I am overdue for my March Phenology Will Project. We went on a little vacation to Monterey and uh, lost track of all time, but I am here to show you the little poppy that I made, which is super fun because they are popping up everywhere here in California. It is our state flower, in case you didn't know and um, there were a ton of them in Monterey when we went, so it was kind of perfect, and they're all over my neighborhood as well. So um, on here, this is a little bit more of an advanced technique. It's the long and short stitch. I'll leave a link in the description to my video on how to do a basic long and short stitch. So whenever you are making a flower like this with different petals, you never want to have the same color from like this petal touching the same color as this petal. So that's why this whole outline of this is in the lighter color. And then underneath is this petal that also shows dimension. Um, since this one's on top, it gets the lighter color. And then this one underneath has the darker colors. And then along here, I did the lighter color, but I stopped just before I got to this one, because if you have the two colors touching each other that are the same, they kind of blend together and then you can't tell where one petal starts and one petal ends. So that's just a basic rundown. It's the same for if you've ever taken an art class and painting or um, done colored pencil or things like that. Usually the lighter thing is on top and then the darker thing on bottom and that gives it a little bit more dimension. So if you're making any flowers this month and want to fill them in with the long and short stitch, those are just some good basic techniques to use. Or you can just take a look at um, the picture of mine if you're making a poppy and just try to duplicate it as much as possible. It's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty good for what I was trying to do. Another way to show two different sections is to do the stitching in different directions. So for this, part since these were both the same color if i had made them both go in the same direction it'd be hard to tell that these were two distinct pieces so for this piece i made the stitches all horizontal and then on this side of it here i made them all kind of diagonal and that right there is just the satin stitch i did more long and short stitch here on the stem and into these little flowers here i'm providing the pattern on my blog cutesycrafts.com. I'll also leave a link to that. The pattern has the leaves a little bit more detailed than I actually stitched them. So you can stitch them more detailed or less either way. So that is it. I hope you guys are having fun stitching along with me. Make sure to post on Instagram using hashtag cutesycraftsal. That stands for cutesy crafts stitch along. I am needing to go out in nature. I think I'm gonna be doing some purple flowers for April. There's little purple wildflowers all over my neighborhood. Hope you guys are having a great beginning to your spring and had a great Easter. I will make another video when I am done with my April project.